Whoa, this is amazing. <laughs> you always get excited when you find something good. We should hurry and get this stuff processed. Like this help. should be easy. This could be useful. Be 
I've got your name on them. Here I go. Yeah, hold on. It's Take over. this. I'll smash you. Good. How do you want to Now. Rip we'll it go here. In an instant. Impact block. And we managed to pull through.
here? It's here? <sighs> yes. All the energy flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Is that thing a Zoogle? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Here it comes. Stay sharp, everyone! Is there no end to what the Renans can cook up? I don't know if that's machine or what, but I do know it's pissing me off! Watch yourself. There is no knowing what it is capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? Radiant Pearl! Cyclone! Radiant Pearl! Hurricane Pearl! Radiant Pearl! Dance in the wind! Annihilation! Be still! Stun! Dragon Pearl! Dance in the wind! It's too dangerous! Stay back! 
Yingma, are you okay? Hey, are you crying? I'm not the only one. I heard it. Whatever it was, I heard it. As did I. I'm not sure I'd call it a voice, but it was there. What in the world just happened? That was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard... Might have been its voice? You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Exactly. There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Maybe the same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just speculation. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel, but we still haven't seen anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside master cores and spirit vessels that prevents such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's spirit vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy and poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, we will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry that's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Anyway, we should get going, right? We need to make sure the energy flow has actually stopped. Are we gonna have to take this winding path all the way back down, too? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then. Actually, I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Seriously? Everything all right? You kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know... Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? <laughs> ah, all right, all right, jeez. Sorry for taking an interest. Stop it! It's okay, Hoodle! Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. at the landing.
sleep now. Impact. Do it! In an instant! Impact block! They got me great! Rising Wyvern! You require a hand. Take this! Do it! Your Gripper! Astral energy! Say no more! Got Well done! Rising Wyvern! Do it! Miss Phoenix! Inferno Punch! Holy Lamp! I can feel my power growing! Astral energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. to me.
It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <sighs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, It'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's gotta be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. First port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? 
You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Rinwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> if anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it, if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys, I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. I think it's safe to rest here now. Uh, all right, something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah, something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So... do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself, but then it occurred to me. Hmm? Whatever this... thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... What am I supposed to do?
We've reached our destination. 